So we just got this. It's a Trail Master 300. Little go kart side by side. But there's an issue with it. Whenever you start it, it dies right away. Let me show you. See how it dies? And then it dies if you let go of the gas. So I took everything apart. And normally I would adjust the carburetor, but on this one, for some reason, you can adjust it. And there's usually supposed to be two bolts, and one of them is broken, as you can see in there. So, I bought a new carburetor. We're gonna switch it out. Uh, we're gonna take this off, just this one. And there's this clip right here. And disconnect these lines. This is a new part from eBay. Put a link in the description if you guys want. I didn't find any videos on any maintenance. I found one video from some guy. He did an oil change in the gearbox oil, so I'll do that as well. But I'll put the phone down while uh, will I go ahead and take these things out. All right, so I already took this the bolt out. And I already loosened this clip. So what I'm gonna do now, before I take anything out, I'm gonna start connecting everything. So I'm gonna put this part here. I'm gonna connect all the little tubes and see what disconnects. And I'm gonna start connecting everything first. I'll see you guys right now. All right, so I was able to get the throttle off of here. By unscrewing this part right here and this part right here, and then I move the tube for the air, and I disconnected. There was three lines. One of them was connected to this part right here, which was the fuel line, and then the other one was connected to this one, and then this bottom one wasn't connected to anything, so. I need to see what the diagram is for. But then you take this out. Everything back. This one has both bolts. We'll see how it runs. On here, the way that it goes. With one hand, right here, it goes in first. Like that, so it's flush. And then it goes around. This line and clamp that in. This this one is gonna go right here. And then I need to see the diagram to see where that bottom one goes. But so far so good. Everything's looking good. Alright, everything's plugged in. See that's the difference between that one and this one. This is the old one. And like I said, I need that adjustment. 
this one we're gonna test it out and we'll see how it works or if it stays on let's see the rpms right it's going fast but it didn't die so that's a good start so to adjust the new carb i move this one and this one let's see if you hear the difference on the engine it's letting more gas in so it starts going faster Just the chain. I did a little bit. It was super wobbly. Should be an adjustable right here. This is uh, this is a 17. And you tighten it, and it makes it. If you tighten it, it makes it uh, the chain go down. So it makes it go down from right there, and it makes it a little bit tighter if you loosen it. Then, if you loosen it, then it goes down and it makes the chain looser. So that's the adjustment right there. This is the easiest part right here. Alright, so what I did now is I disconnected these three tubes. One, and two, and three. Alright, took this off. off these screws couple of them took off the screws All right, so we can take out the air filter right, this thing is dirty you can't see anything through it it's pretty dirty it smells so we're gonna clean it then we're gonna install this back. This right here is the fuel filter. It also came with the package. So I'm gonna replace it. This is like on the side of it. And then back here next to the rear tire. And then right there. Like I said, 